Hello everyone! Today's update is about scaling. Yeah, perspective. Well, fake perspective because this is a 2D game. As you can see, Charlie goes around the room and she becomes smaller. And then let's say there's a virtual endless hallway and she's going to go, oh, I'm going to go down the hallway. See you guys. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. She's going to come back. Oh, you're still there? Oh, wait a minute. Those are real people. Hello, people. How are you? Ouch, I hurt myself. Anyways, this just works by setting up references. So let me show you. As you can see here, now I have three versions of Charlie. Charlie here, which is the actual Charlie, the character we're going to play with. And this here is just reference, um, reference sprites that I position and scale at different places in the room. So it helps me figure out exactly uh, how the scaling is going to work. So I need two references and then it's going to interpolate between these two and calculate uh, a Y convergence value. So the Y convergence is the value for Y because everything is going to be based on the Y axis. It's a value for Y where the character is actually going to be completely at the horizon and where its scale is just going to be zero. Um, but yeah, and uh, then the slope is how it moves away from that Y value, like how big it becomes. So if I increase the slope, uh, I can't because it's calculated automatically. But if I change that, then it's going to change how, how much faster the character becomes big or small. Anyways, this is it. Hope you liked it and see you on another update.